To a story now you'll only see here on Fox 5, Fairfax County Public Schools accused of turning a blind eye to a horrific sexual abuse case. Court documents allege staff showed more compassion for the attacker than the victim. Sierra Fox is live tonight in Herndon with those details. Jim, Angie, this is where a 12-year-old girl was allegedly gang raped here at Carson Middle School back in 2011. Now, years later, the victim is only wanting to open up with Fox 5 as she continues to fight for justice. Uh, it's a difficult case for everyone. A lawsuit filed in 2019 reveals explosive claims against Fairfax County Public Schools, painting a disturbing picture of sexual abuse at Carson Middle School in Herndon, Virginia. It is a horrific situation. Karen Swigart is representing the victim known as BR in court documents. The allegations coming to light more than a decade later disclose when BR was in seventh grade, she experienced harassment that started verbal and turned into physical assault on campus. It started small and it just continued to escalate and Fairfax County knew about it at the beginning. They knew about this. They brushed it off. They swept it under the rug. Soon this case will be moving forward on the following claims. Assault and battery against two student perpetrators. Fairfax County School Board not following Title IX protections. First Amendment retaliation against three school principals and gross negligence against nine current and former employees. The names of the staff involved are being protected, meaning authorities accused of covering up the egregious conduct could still be in the classroom. I think that parents have the right to know that. I think the parents have the right to know if there is an allegation that a, a school official didn't take the action to protect minor students that they should have. And that's uh, one of the unfortunate things here. At this time, the victim isn't going on camera, but sent Fox 5 this statement that reads in part, when I was sexually abused, Fairfax County Public Schools ignored my cries for help and retaliated against me. Teachers and principals are responsible for the safety of children and their care. They must protect them from all types of violence, including sexual abuse and trafficking. FCPS, a powerful institution, continues to deny responsibility even 11 years later. She doesn't want another student to have to suffer like this. Fairfax County Public School says they are gratified with the March 10th ruling dismissing several claims against the school system. We have their full statement available on our website, fox5dc.com.